Hey, Stephen Young here doing the Junkyard Crawl with help from my friends at High Octane Classics in Auburn, Massachusetts with a 1960 Plymouth Suburban. You might go, wait a minute, hang on. Suburban, isn't that a Chevy and GMC name? Well, it is true that since 1935, Chevy and GMC have used the Suburban name on their sort of full-sized SUV type truck wagon machine. And in fact, with something like 1,700 TV and movie appearances, the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce in 2019 awarded the GMC and Chevy Suburban a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. But you gotta remember from 1949 through 1978, Plymouth called all of its wagons Suburbans, and somehow they never met in court, all was good. But this again is a 1960 Suburban Plymouth Belvedere Suburban, and the thing is, 1960 was the final year and the height of Virgil Exner's tail fin forward look excess styling. And again, in Europe, they led the way with uh, pedestrian safety. Imagine a kid coming down a hill on a skateboard, wiping out and getting stabbed by that thing. But anyway, it sold cars kind of, in 1960. And again, final year for the Finns on Plymouth at this point in time. Now, this is, of course, the Suburban Wagon, and you gotta love how it has these little bumpers right here that when you open the Suburban tailgate, these come into contact on the top of the bumper and prevent uh, going too far and overextending the hinges. Uh, they're also maybe there to protect the bodywork a little bit. The gas filler was relocated from the side of the car to this semi-horizontal, uh, opening right here and you just open it up fill the tank wrap around windows on the back and of course the long roof body style keep in mind too that the suburban wagon was available as a two-door uh, in 1960 and 61 although in 1960 only about 5,000 were sold but imagine that a two-door Plymouth wagon most of it was sold to like electric companies and phone companies and stuff like that but this four-door is uh, one of the majority and again we see the wraparound windshield inside this one here is a three-speed manual uh, no buttons on the left hand side of the dash just a block off plate and we can see the uh, the three-speed stick right there and uh, also the the magnesium uh, speedometer housing right up here on top sort of like a spaceship or ufo whatever you want to call it and of course the rib raker rear view mirror the term there of course coming from as you make your way through the front windshield in an impact no seat belts uh, that would take out a couple ribs as you made your way like superman through the window but again that was an interesting styling touch the downside to that was that unlike a suspended rear view mirror which would be down here if there were people in the back seat they were in the way of your rear rearward vision with that low mounted mirror so it was a weird thing that only went for a few years but it was pretty advanced. Another thing too that was new for 60 was semi-unitized construction. Uh, 1959 body on frame, 1960 up. These would have been a C body with a subframe up front that bolted underneath from the cowl back. This was basically one piece. It was like a unitized car. So 60 was a new thing, solid beauty for 60. Uh, of course, up front quad headlights. And this one still has the grill intact. And in the middle, that little Plymouth uh, themed sailing ship right there that the gold anodized behind that that's almost always faded so it's astonishing how the rust has taken out virtually every other bit of this car but that anodized gold aluminum has lived and this one here is one of 18,124 four-door wagons built in 1960 and again there were 5,503 two-doors now a lot of those two-doors were cop cars this is an old Johan model kit of the 1960 Plymouth emergency wagon now this is a four door but this model kit is a classic from back in the day and this one of course replicates the four-door body style that we have it right there and of course these crazy sweep forward front fenders here they're almost like they're going backwards there's the grill again the gold anodized uh, emblem in the center stylized there of course dual exhaust replicated here on the model kit and uh, on the bottom it says Johan Models, licensed by Chrysler Corporation. And of course, Johan stands not for Johann Sebastian Bach, but rather for John Hanley, who was the founder of Johan Models in 1947, I think it was. John Hanley basically was an engineer in Detroit who made plastic bits for automotive companies and also promotionals. And he used to say that the little ones help sell the big ones. So again, this is the police version, a fleet car, and to find one of these in a junkyard would be awesome. But again, this is basically a suburban, a Belvedere suburban, 
that would have been a classic family prime mover back in the day. There's not much left of it today, although the tail fins are still in pretty good shape. I don't want to advocate cutting them off, but that might be a way to save them because the rest of this car, if we went to pick it up, it would probably crumble. It's been sitting on the ground here in New England for probably the last 30 years, and uh, it's going the way of all flesh, as they say. And this ain't no Texas suntan right here. That's good old structural rust. And one thing about these early 57 through 61 Plymouths and Dodges and Chryslers and even Imperials, they were classically known for rust. A lot of hollow voids inside, big bloated bodies, but on the back side of this metal were lightly painted surfaces, which would begin to flash rust within a year of operation on a salty road. And within a decade, well, you start to get perforations and within 50 or 60 years, you got this kind of thing right here, factory lightweight, courtesy of Mother Nature. But that's the story of the 1960 Plymouth Suburban. No, it's not a GMC, not a Chevy. No, they never went to court over it. Somehow they both got along just fine uh, here in the junkyard. Now, of course, every day, new videos. So be sure to subscribe to the Steve Mag's YouTube channel. Hit the bell so that you're alerted when new videos come out, which is every single day. We'll see you tomorrow.